Have you ever watched one of those videos on YouTube where somebody in their car drives around a particular town and tells you and shows you all the really nice parts of the town, then maybe they do an entire segment on the really nasty parts of town that you don't want to live, that you don't want to drive through? Let's do that together right now, shall we? Let's go to a place. A place where you don't want to go, never wanted to venture. A place so thick, so dense, yet still so shallow and so corrupt. Let's enter the mind of Joe Biden. Joe Biden, he's the man, the man with the Biden touch, a creepy touch. Hi, I'm Pastor Marty. This is the Afternoon Drive. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Once you are, smack the bell, click the word all to get notification of all of my rants, ravings, and undeniably 100% spot-on flawless reasonings. Hey, and please like and share this video. That's how we get the word out that we're here. Welcome to the Afternoon Drive. I will not belabor this point today because going into the mind of Joe Biden is an extremely frightening place to be. But uh, Joe Biden, you know, he, he is constantly not only on the wrong side of literally everything, but you talk about a guy who's completely out of sync and out of touch and picking fights and straw men over really, less like, really? The, with everything going on, this is what you're going to do. President Joe Biden is pushing his Food and Drug Administration to outlaw menthol cigarettes, while at the same time using the same Food and Drug Administration to make sure that crack addicts have clean, safe drug paraphernalia. Let that sink in for just a moment. Menthol cigarettes. They got to go. But we want to make sure that people that are dying of crack do so with a clean crack pipe. That's the logic of Obama Biden. It's the same logic as a Gavin Newsom, who has basically made just about every illegal drug you can imagine legal in the state of California. And now with some of the law changes that they've done regarding sex workers in California, prostitutes and hoes just walk now freely in the open daylight wearing nothing but shoestring thongs in front of children advertising that their wares are for sale. But those same children who ought to be able to go to school and in their public school library have books that describe anal sexual intercourse with adult men. Because after all, we don't want to ban books. And these same children, which are being exposed to drag queens coming into their school to explain history to them. These same children that are literally being groomed to be sexualized, that's perfectly fine. But these same children in the state of California, if two of them are spotted in a playground cracking open a bag of Skittles candy. L.A. SWAT is going to be called in. Oh, yeah, we see the kids and uh, we got a clear shot. Take the shot. Take them out. That, that, that's California. That's the mind of Gavin Newsom. And in the mind of Obama Biden, hey, you can't have a menthol cigarette, but you can be permanently toasted. All I need are some tasty waves, cool buzz, and I'm fine. Now, of course, what's interesting in all of this is as we talk about how the, the conservatives, the, the Republicans can't get their act together in Congress to get us a speaker, well, there's a reason for that, because the rhinos are fighting the actual conservatives, and the conservatives are just not laying down. They're not taking the status quo. Listen, the guy that can, quote-unquote, 
get the gig as Speaker of the House means he's got to be ultimately a compromiser. He can't have any principles, can't have any convictions. Uh, you know, he's got to be somebody who basically is a unipartyist. That's what we're going to get on the Republican side. Funny thing is, though, the Democrats will have no problem putting up one of the most extreme, far left lib loon that you've ever seen because they're gearing up because they want Hakeem Jeffries to have his shot at it when they take control of Congress. Uh, and there will be Democrats who don't like Hakeem, who don't want that progressive far left agenda, but because the Democrats walk in lockstep, uh, that's exactly what we'll get. We'll get Hakeem Jeffries. But of course, the liberal Republicans, the rhinos, the Democrats dressed in Republican drag, they're not going to give in to Matt Gates and the conservatives to the MAGA. And so uh, this, 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 is, this is what we've got going on. But while the Democrats try to spin this, that the Republicans are divided, the Republicans are divided. Well, you know, the Democrats are not united on certain woke type issues and they're not even united over this whole menthol cigarette thing because while joe biden cites that menthol cigarettes are highly more addictive and deadly that the tobacco industry and even a lot of uh physicians and i i am not defending cigarette smoking i do not smoke cigarettes i am not in any way advocating or defending joe camel or cigarettes I'm not doing that. But when we're going to target, quote, menthol cigarettes, that they're more deadly, well, then we have to ask the obvious. What's the scientific evidence that they're more addictive, thus making them more deadly? That's going to seem like a side issue, but I watched a documentary over the weekend called The Essential Church. Some of you, when you were dealing with all of the mandate madness, may not have been keeping up with how many churches across the country were literally under siege by their little dictatorial czars that we sometimes refer to as governors. Uh, there were pastors in Canada who were literally arrested for keeping their ministries open during the pandemic. A pastor in California, John MacArthur, was being fined several thousand dollars a day for remaining open. The amazing thing is there's photographs of the police with their families in uniform coming to the services. Why? It was right about the time of the George Floyd riots and defund the police, and these police officers knew they needed to be someplace where their families could would not be attacked, where their families would be affirmed, where and and they ended up in John MacArthur's church. Three to five thousand people were showing up on Sunday during the pandemic when every church was shut down. And so for over a year, this played out, and John MacArthur actually lost some board members and church members over this, but he stayed open. And even as the pandemic regulations and mandates began to be lifted, you know, L.A. County was still hot and heavy on, on suing uh, Grace Community Church there in Los Angeles. And then the MacArthur legal team went on offense. They stopped playing defense. And they drafted a lawsuit against the county of Los Angeles. And this was great. I wish this had happened. They wanted to get Newsom on the stand. They wanted to get the mayor on the stand. They wanted to get the uh, uh, secretary of health for the state on the stand. They wanted Fauci on the stand. And this is what they were going to do. Prove to us scientifically that it's more deadly to go to church than to Costco. Prove to us scientifically. Show us the actual scientific evidence that the mask does what you say it does. When John MacArthur's church presented that lawsuit, the county of Los Angeles immediately dropped all charges against John MacArthur, waived all the fines, and without even being mandated by any court, wrote a check and paid all of the legal fees that John MacArthur and his church had incurred over a year's time. Bump, ba dump bump. So, even the cigarette industry is saying to the Biden administration, where is your so-called scientific proof that these menthol cigarettes are this much more deadly? But here's what I mean that even the Democrats are divided over this. The ACLU and several African-American organizations are saying 
that outlawing menthol cigarettes specifically targets black people, because apparently, I guess it's the cigarette of choice among people of color. I don't know. I don't smoke. I had friends when I was a kid who's had mothers that smoke, and I remember menthol cigarettes. It was like smelling a Hall's cough drop on fire. I couldn't understand why people would want to smoke that, but hey, to each their own, as far as you like that kind of flavor, go for it. So you now have Joe Biden once again coming out on an issue that's got the ire of the people that he cannot afford to lose in this election cycle, the people of color. You know, we're not allowed to say colored people. I remember when that used to be what we said and we were excoriated as white people. You can't say colored people, but now we can say people of color. Can you please explain to me, even grammatically, what's the freaking difference? I digress. But Joe Biden is perfectly willing to make sure that we have the proper drug paraphernalia ready for people that are dying of crack cocaine. Let me say it like, like Donald Trump would say it when talking about Ukraine. Dying. They're dying from crack cocaine addiction. But we want to make sure they've got a clean crack pipe when that happens. We're releasing millions of dollars in funding for these different agencies to be able to purchase and distribute, free of charge, drug paraphernalia. But the menthol cigarettes, that's what's got to go. See, this is the mind of Joe Biden and the woke progressives that really are the brain trust now of the Democratic Party, and they get to own it now. Lock, stock, and barrel. 